Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a current household update. Alright, so if you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen that I was going to start the Not So Berry Challenge for my current household and my own personal gameplay. Because honestly, I've attempted it, um, tried to do a Let's Play at the beginning of my channel back in the day, and I just couldn't get into it. I don't know why. I think it was like the pressure of having to complete a challenge, but at the same time record. So I was like, you know what? I really want to accomplish this challenge because so many people do it. There's so many things that are in this challenge that is going to make me enjoy the game more because it's things I've never experienced before in the game, which is the whole point of Lil Simsy and her friend creating this challenge. So I decided to go for it in my own personal gameplay. So yes, I will be giving you updates uh, probably per generation. So we might get like 10 updates. So this is my first update on my first generation sim. And then when we go to the second generation sim, I will kind of give you the um, rundown on, yes, I completed this past generation, obviously, so now we're focusing on this one. Here's where she is, or he is, whoever the area is. But my personal little twist to this is I'm not using the the colored hair. I just can't with that. I really can't, y'all. I don't know why. It's just I like to play realistically, and to me, it's just not realistic. I can't play with Sims with pink hair and purple hair. I just don't like it. So uh, pretty much everything stands except that I kind of want to go off of the color scheme. So for example, I'm on the mint generation. Don't get me wrong, this house is kind of like turquoise, but you know, it, it it's still like mint if you ask me. I also kind of like clothe them to like their, their color choice of their generation, but not like too anal because that's where it gets like overwhelming and it kind of just turns me off from the whole generation is having to be so anal on the colors. I just really want to focus on the aspirations and the careers and completing that to move on to the next generation. So yeah, with that being said, let me introduce you to my heir, <laughs> my very first generation sim. This is Maya Basara. Her name actually should be Fontaine uh, because she just got married like recently and I went out of the game thinking it would um, change her name but it didn't so um, actually I just went to edit town maybe I need to start the game over and it'll update her name to Fontan but anyway she started out Maya Basara I am playing in Plumbella save file so she actually started off in a little starter house in Willow Creek but anyways most of you are familiar with this um, with this Oh my gosh, this challenge. So I don't have to like go into the details with you of what it is. But basically, she is a mad scientist. So what we have to do to complete um, her generation is Master Scientist Career Complete, Chief of mas Mischief Aspiration, Master Mischief and Logic Skills, and Complete Elements Collection. So let's see how far we've gotten with that. Currently, she is in level five of the scientist career. So you know what? We're doing pretty good. Level five. We're halfway there. She is on um, three out of four in the Chief of Mischief. So we're doing really good there. We need to pull a few more pranks and achieve one more mischief skill in order to advance in that. And our skills, we have... Let's see, we have five Here's logic and five Stop. mischief, so we're halfway there with that. So we're kind of like halfway there all around. As far as our elements collection, here we are. We have one, two, three, four more to get, and I'm currently on oh, my computer. I have pulled up in front of me uh, the Sims 4 elements collectibles, and I'm trying to learn how to collect all of them because I, I can't seem to find these last is it three or four? Yeah, these last four. I can't seem to find them, so I'm going to be doing my research. But yeah, I mean, we're halfway there. She's doing good. I absolutely love her. I think she is so freaking cute. She's so dark complected. They make the most beautiful baby. I love her style. She's kind of like quirky and, you know, just she's annoying. You know, she's mischievous. She likes to get on people's nerves. She likes to prank. She's just kind of like out there, and I love her. Well, anyways, this is her husband. Uh, they're both actually... Uh, having a breakout. I have this slice of life mod and I love it because it gives your sims a little breakout So that's cute. Uh, but anyways, they're both uh, stressing out I guess together because they're about to have their second child But yeah, this is her husband Dean Fontan. He is a project manager. So 
he makes pretty good money. They're both materialistic. So once they found out they were having their first child, so this is their first child, Gabriel, um, and he should be aging up shortly into a child. He, yeah, he's got three more days until he ages up. So once they found out they were having their first child, they decided they wanted to purchase a bigger family home. And since they're both materialistic, I purchased this home for them, which I actually built this house, and it's one of my favorite houses I've ever built. You can check out the speed build to it. I will add it in the comments, uh, not comments, in the description box down below, the link to it if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, so far they love their house. They're very proud of it, and originally this was actually like a game room area, hangout spot, but Maya decided to turn it into her lab. So most of the stuff is what we have achieved or earned throughout the career with our promotion so we're just adding to it and I think it is so nice she loves having her own little space here to experiment and whatnot but this is their son like I said Gabriel and uh, this is his room over here so Gabriel is not going to be our heir for the second generation I'm not going off of rules as in like firstborn or all girl heir all boy heir it's just kind of going to be who I want it to be and for the second generation of the not so berry um it's, it just seems like it would fit more towards like a female sim um because it says she has no maternal instincts and you see her romantic and a snob so it just kind of reminds me of a girl so she is actually about to give birth any second to our second generation sim which i'm hoping we'll be able to catch um on this little update here so we can name her and you can at least meet our second generation heir but yeah, I really wanted her to have a girl next, and I didn't have to do any cheats. She ended up being pregnant with a little girl, so yeah, she is due any second, so I have her nursery all set up. It is pink right now, but I think once she, you know, starts getting a little bit older and gaining a little bit more personality, she's going to flock to the color red because it is the rose generation, um, so yeah, we'll probably, next time you see us, we we'll might be like upgraded, um, upgraded, I mean, by the time you see the next update, she should be like a young adult because <laughs> um, I'm not going to update you so much on this just because I kind of want to do just like update per generation if that makes sense. But anyways, yeah, since I'm halfway through with her, I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you guys. I've been having so much fun playing with it in my spare time. Um, so it is actually Monday that you're watching this and for those of you who have not seen my text, um, not text, yeah, I texted all of you, I have all your numbers, no, if you have not seen my tweet, I tweeted that, um, after Tuesday's Sims 3 to Sims 4 series last week, I was done uploading for the rest of the week because I had gotten behind, uh, so I've been trying to catch up, but also I've just been enjoying playing in my own little spare time, so this is what I've been working on, so since we did the Pleasant View update last week, and Monday is usually when I do the Pleasant View again, but since I didn't do any other video for the week, and kind of got behind on the other series, I decided I would replace Pleasant View with my Not So Very current household update, so yeah, so tomorrow everything will resume, resume as scheduled. But, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, let me know if you guys have accomplished the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. I think a lot of people have. So, I want to know if you have and what your favorite generation of the game is. I can't quite say what mine is because I haven't made it past one. But, you know what? We're working it. We're getting there. And we're going to make it. I have faith in it faith in us but as far as little gabriel goes he's not our heir but he is so cute and he's so handsome i think he's going to take after his mom i think that he is going to be very very smart he is very inquisitive so what i've been trying to accomplish with him he's actually hungry right now so let me have dean come down here and give him some let's give him a ham and cheese sandwich for for lunch and um, I want to kind of get his skills on a roll. I kind of want to give him, I think, what is it? You accomplish three? Three? Or you, is, is it either you master five or you, you get to level three of like three of your skills or something like that? And you get, I don't know, I just want him to be like a smart toddler. Not a happy toddler, but like a gifted. Or is that child? Is that a child thing? That might be the child thing. I think you can just do happy toddler. I don't know, but... He's going to be very smart. I can definitely see him 
you know, following after his mom, maybe it being in the scientist career along with her. Imagine him aging up into a child wanting his own little chemistry set right down here next to his mom in the lab. He has a very close relationship with both his mom and dad. And then, of course, once we have our little girl, who is going to be our next um, heir, She's going to be kind of like the opposite. So for those of you, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little rundown if you don't know about Generation 2. Their description is, you have everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in The Sims 4, you would have it. You have absolutely no maternal instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. And her traits would be hot-headed, snob, romantic, and her aspirations, serial romantic and career politician. So, obviously, since her parents are so materialistic, I think she definitely does grow up with everything she desired. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's looking for more. I don't know really what it is. And she's trying to find it, like, in her own accomplishment. She sees, you know, both her mom and her dad are very smart. Like, he's a programmer. They're very, very smart. And then her brother's kind of following after him. Maybe she wants to go her own path. And she wants to, you know, do her own thing. So she leans towards politicians. She kind of wants power, wants to be in control. Um, I don't know. Maybe she wants to be the opposite of her parents they have a very strong bond maybe she doesn't want to settle down maybe she's like mom why'd you settle down like you know i don't know i don't know well, we're just gonna have so much fun like raising her up and playing with her obviously you guys won't be able to see me do that but next time we update you will get to see where i am with second generation and um, kind of how I completed the first generation because our first generation said Maya will be a big part in generation two because the generation three the child of generation two wow that's so confusing uh, so her great grandchild a grandchild not great grandchild grandchild is going to be like very close to her and wants to be kind of like her she wants to be an astronaut he wants to be an astronaut we'll see if it's a boy or a girl but anyways, <laughs> I think that I've done enough like explaining. I think most of us are familiar with this uh, with this challenge. So I'm going to kind of play through and speed through until we give birth so we can at least meet our second generation heir and pick a name out. All right, so we are currently going into labor. So we're going to go have a baby at hospital and we're actually going to send her alone you know since we i could go with her and make it a big to do since we are giving birth to our second generation heir which is kind of important dean you better wake up she's gonna be pissed if you don't show up uh when she's giving birth but anyways we're just gonna send them alone because i don't feel like going through the glitches of get to work and having a baby down there and it's just annoying so yes all right, so it's a girl. So we're gonna change her last name to Fontaine. I don't know how you say that. I think it's Fontaine. Fontaine, Fontaine, I don't know. Anyways, I don't really have a name. But Madeline's cute. I kind of like Madeline. Okay, we're gonna go with Madeline. Why not? That was easy, that was simple. Uh, wow, Madeline's a lot light, like a lot light, what, huh? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> he barely made it. I think he was just trying to leave when she got back. Wow, she has definitely got her daddy's skin complexion, which I was hoping she would be darker complexed like her mom. I know that's awful, but I just think it's such a pretty complexion. And you know, like, okay, obviously I always do this every time I age my Sims up into toddlers, when I go into like change their outfits, I always go into create a sinful edit mode and then age them up to see what they look like as an adult. And he is so handsome. He's beautiful. He really is. But anyways, I don't doubt that Madeline's going to look any less beautiful because, you know, I mean, just because she's light complected. I mean, I just, she's like way lighter than her dad though. That's really weird. I'm concerned. Um, I don't know. I, I'm interested to see what, what she looks like when she ages up. Um, you know what? Okay, just because I'm recording this for you guys, I really don't even care. We're going to go ahead and age her up. <laughs> because I'm curious to see what she's going to look like. Oh, so she's got black hair like Maya. And she's light complected like her dad. But anyway, so I imagine that as a toddler, she would be independent. Since she is kind of like snobby and materialistic as you know her mom and whatnot so we're gonna make her um very independent 
So, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I completely skipped Madeline's whole baby years, but it's okay. I really just wanted to see what she looks like. And, um, yeah, with that being said, let's go into create a sim uh, and see what she looks like for real, for real. Because, <laughs> yeah, this is our second generation heir, so why not? Let's just see what she looks like. Oh, she's so cute. We're going to have to do something with that hairstyle. I really don't like it, though. This will be her as a child. Because, yeah, so she definitely looks more like her dad. She's got his eyes and everything as a teenager. Oh, beautiful. She's got very lush and pl lush and plumpus. Is that a word? Plumpus lips. Um, she's got some t jacked up teeth, though. Uh, they're not very straight. Oh, no, no, no. They're, they're not the jacked up ones. I see. I was thinking it was those. Uh, but it's those, which I actually really like these custom teeth, you know, because it kind of looks like she has an overbite. So maybe when she's a teenager, we'll give her braces or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, you're going to leave it there. But wow. I'm going to go ahead and age her up one more time to a young adult where she looks a little bit more mature. Yeah, she's very pretty. Wow, I love her. So she is light complected, like her dad, but as far as, and she has his eye color, but her features, she definitely looks more like Maya. Don't you guys agree? Yeah, <laughs> she's very pretty. I love her. Okay, so let's go ahead and give her a little makeover right now. Okay, this is supposed to be like the update on the first generation, but you know what? It's okay. We're just going to go ahead and, uh, we're just, we're just, we're just having fun. We're just updating. We're having a good time. That is so cute. All right. I don't know what hair I want to pick. That's cute, but it's, it makes her head look kind of big. All right. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, Maya's going to wake up and be like, what happened to my newborn? Uh, what is wrong? Do you have a nightmare? I, don't you hate it when toddlers have nightmares and they just like wake everybody up? I mean, it's cute, but not really. <laughs> not really cute uh he's still super tired so dean what are you up to okay you're downstairs watching tv no 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 no. okay look gabriel calm down come come here son come here all right dean come over here and let's kind of like um soothe him a little bit and then we're going to put gabriel to sleep madeline She's going to play with her brother's toys. Yeah, you would. Go play with your own toys. <laughs> um, but anyways, as far as them having another child, I don't... Oh, he doesn't want any soothing. <laughs> so rude. Okay, whatever. You know, we try, dude. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, as far as them having any other children, I don't think they will. We have another bedroom down here. Um, so in case they do have another child, um, I definitely could see... Um, eventually Gabriel maybe move into this bedroom down here even though it is smaller but because I see him taking after his mom um being really into science I think he would really like to have a little ensuite room next to the lab in the house so that'd be really cool but yeah I'm not gonna try for a baby but I do have my risky woohoo on five percent which you're probably thinking you're never gonna get pregnant but that's not true because uh that is how Mr. Gabriel came along. Um, he was a surprise baby. They was not trying for him. They actually uh, woohooed maybe three or f maybe, I think maybe it was their fourth woohoo and they got pregnant. So um, if I was to have them be little horn dogs and woohoo all the time, I'm sure eventually she would get pregnant again, uh, which I wouldn't be opposed to. But yeah, we're just going to kind of let the game do its natural course. Um, but anyways... I think what I'm going to do before I wrap this part up, since we are kind of focusing on the mint generation, I think I'm going to play through Sunday, kind of have like a little family day, and then we may spend a day with Maya at work and then call this update a wrap. All right, so the kids are off to daycare and Dean is off to work, and um, we're going to join uh, Maya for a day at work since we are kind of like doing a little update on her, try to get her to get a promotion or something like that kind of introduce you to some of her work friends because she's pretty close to the people she works with since we do spend quite a lot of time here since we have to go to work with her in order for her to get a promotion but anyways also down here if you recognize a new member <laughs> off camera i decided to adopt a puppy winston um it's a german spitz spritz I, I don't know what kind of doll i don't know what it looks like but it was cute it had different color eyes and um anyways i figured that 
you know, since Gabriel's about to age up and she does have kids, she wanted to get a family dog. So, anyways, let's see what we have to do today. We have to ask a coworker for a crystal. Okay, cool. Let's come over here and ask our friend. This was our first friend. She's very special to us. Her name is Chelsea Heller. Heller? Yeah, Heller. <laughs> and she was our very first friend. So, obviously, we met her at work. And she actually lives across the street from us. So, before we got married, we would always, you know, reach out to Chelsea. Chelsea would invite us over to her. She has two kids and a husband. And she would invite us over for all the holidays and everything like that. So, Chelsea is a doll. And then we also have, what's his name again? Mason Harrell. He is also our friend. We're pretty good friends with him. And then this chick right here. Okay, hold on. Let me pause so I can get a good look at her. This is Kira, Kira Naylor. All right, obviously they hate each other, and that's because she has the Chief of Mischief aspiration where she has to, like, be disliked by two Sims, and so I had her get in a fight <laughs> with her at work, so she's a little bit messy. They don't have a good relationship at all. Um, I tried to f be friends with her. She absolutely hates us, and you know what? With the slice, I don't know if this is with the slice of life mod. I think it's just the game in general. If you're, like, a dis a mean sim or you have a lot of people who dislike you your friends are gonna like call you and so like Chelsea was calling us and she was like look what's going on you know it's not good for people not to like you you know uh, so it always caused some problems with us but now we need to ask we need a medal so let's, let's just ask Chelsea for a medal again I guess sure all right <laughs> I need to um also order a, a co-worker to garden but I don't know what's up with our garden. I think our garden has a glitch. Every time I go to garden, it says there's nothing to be gardened. So I guess they're like doing it off camera or I'm catching them. Uh, I'm missing them water the plants or whatever. But anyways, we need to give a sim synthetic food and mix Slimify serum. But real quick, before we do that, um, let's go over here and clean this. I really want to also, um, I need to go and check some of these crystals because I've got to complete my elements collection. So anyways, how do we make synthetic food? I forget. I think I've done this before, but what do we need? Oh, we have what we need. All right, let's kick Chelsea off and let's come over here and, um, yeah, make that synthetic food. Okay, I guess we can't kick her off. Is she busy? Like, is she in the middle of something? Is everybody going to be... Okay, wait. Yeah, okay, we can use this one. Let's make... Synth... Wait, synthetic food, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we need to at least try to get um, way up here. Like, complete the day's task so we can get a promotion. Because she did have our 10th breakthrough which was a promotion task so I think all we have to do is kind of just like get through all these tasks a day which I have found kind of hard to complete sometimes because there's like certain things they want me to make and I don't have access to the ingredients I need so it's kind of like uh I get stuck I don't really know what to do um oh we have a new co-worker oh and oh my gosh that's so sad okay so He's probably a ghost in our memory. Yeah, so Gerald Dubois, I guess, I don't know how you say that, but I'm going to say Dubois because <laughs> it sounds fancy. But Gerald, 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 it's probably how you say it, Gerald, was our friend. I imagine he was like our boss because he was an elder. But anyways, he passed away and she was mourning him for two days because we did get a call saying that he passed away. And so we did like mourn him. So I guess since he... Um, no longer works here. We have a new co-worker, and she's really pretty. So let's come over here and give her a friendly introduction. Hi, Maya. We'd love to have you join the upper crust. No, thank you. Not interested. Um, give a sim synthetic food. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Hi, how are you? Welcome to the lab. Here, let me go ahead and just, you know, we're going to test out the synthetic food on you. Let me know how it tastes. She's like, I mean, sure, you know, if I'm going to be a, a scientist, might as well be willing to experiment. All right, so we need to go and chat with the invention constructor for 10 minutes. So let's come over here and chat with it. I'm just trying to get a promotion. If we can get a promotion, that would be awesome. But uh, I, I don't know. We're going to have to work fast here. Okay, guys, update. I don't know if I'm going to get a promotion because I'm kind of stuck here. For example... Um, we have three tasks that we need to do. Mix a tainted serum. I don't think I have any tainted serum. So, 
I mean, I would have to spend all my time making serums, but I don't know if they'd be tainted or not. So that's annoying. And then mixed Slimify serum, which would require carrots and, you know, stuff that I don't have. Order a coworker to garden um, all these plants right here. or They don't need to be gardened. But, but, let me try this. Let me add a plant. Let's add a few, actually. And then I'm going to purchase some seeds. I'm going to purchase some starter vegetables. Uh, because I do need, like, a carrot. So, possibly possibly we'll get a carrot <laughs> where's our where's it at where's it at where's it at okay let's open it up and see what we have no of course not we have bell pepper and spinach okay whatever we're just gonna do that and then if they need to be if they need to be planted i wonder if we could okay maybe not kira she'd probably be like <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Oh, and this is also Eric Lewis. We work with him. Most of us know Eric Lewis. But anyways, can we order him to do that? He looks a little busy answering the phone. <laughs> Let's come over here to our new uh, little friend and see if we can... No, what do you mean? There's nothing to garden. There is something to garden. All right, maybe if I plant it and... Okay, let's plant and not water. Okay, no. She, it doesn't need to be watered. Okay, I, I'm stuck. You guys, I'm stuck. I am stuck. I am stuck. But what I'm going to do is come over here and analyze... Um, I'm going to analyze some of these some of these crystals and see if I can like find a new crystal or uh, a new element that I can add to my collection since I'm obviously not going to get a promotion here which freaking sucks but I'm kind of stuck and you know what honestly every time I get to work and I have this problem where I don't have access to the things that I need uh, I'm probably probably going to go ahead and um, start a garden at the house of my own so I can do that okay so I found a new metal but I don't really, okay, let's, um, I'm going to analyze all of these crystals I have because I'm finding new elements and new metals and stuff, so, I don't know, hopefully one of these will be able to add to our collection. Okay, now we got a potty and we only have like an hour before we have to, uh, turn over for the day, so, <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and wrap this part up here, you guys, her work day's ending soon, yeah. Alright, yeah, we're going to end this part here. So, this was just a little update for my current household. So, I hope you guys are going to be excited about this. I'm having so much fun, like I said, with this challenge. Didn't think I would enjoy it, but it really has helped me kind of excluding the different hair colors and being so anal about the color schemes and stuff. I just did not like that. But, anyways, it's been a lot of fun so far. I love this family. I'm kind of getting attached to them, which is good. I'll be playing them for 10 generations. So, anyways, our next update, we will be focusing more on Madeline, who is our Rose Generation heir, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, let me know if you liked this little update. If you do want to see more, subscribe if you have not. And also, if you have finished this challenge, let me know what was your favorite generation you played. Also, if you have any tips or tricks on elements and stuff like that to help Maya in her career, that would be awesome. I'd appreciate it. But anyways, yeah, it's the end of our shift and I'm going to head out. Thank you guys for watching. Love y'all and I'll talk to you later. Bye.